Hey everybody, Craig Hester here with the Pramsius Watch Company. Okay, before I get into anything else, I'm going to answer the question that I know everybody's going to be asking me first of all, uh, and that is when is the Berlin Wall Watch coming out? And that is September at this point. Um, everything is running smoothly. Uh, Abe actually posted, uh, it's Abe Weiss, the man, the myth, the legend, who is actually behind the camera today, and you'll probably hear me asking him some questions as we talk about today's item, which is the Nixie Clock. Um, yeah, as uh, Abe posted a video of me breaking up the wall in our uh, back shop, and you can definitely tell that was not a staged video because just how messy the room is. So that tells you right there that that was the real thing. Anyway, September is still the target date for when the Berlin Wall is going to come out. I'm not going to say anything else about that today because I want to jump right into the item we are talking about today. And that is the Nixie Tube Captain's Clock. Okay. You guys know that not long ago we posted a video about Nixie clocks and we, we got a few in. Uh, we're having them handmade in Ukraine. Um, we got a handful in and they were gone in like seven minutes. I mean, it was one of the fastest sellouts we've ever had uh, of anything because, well, they're just rock and roll cool. Um, so because of the success of that, we decided to, uh, to take the whole Nixie clock idea to the next level. Um, real quick, what a Nixie clock is, these are tubes, these are not cathode ray tubes, they are called Nixie tubes. Uh, they do come from, tend to come from that part of the world, particularly Ukraine or Poland. Um, they are cold in that they don't, not like a, a cathode ray tube, they don't heat up. They actually are using a cold heat. You can touch this, you don't feel anything. Um, and instead of actually moving uh, the liquid around into different shapes, uh, there is a, a grid for each number on them, and this has a, a, an electronic plate, and then you can, you can uh, program these in different ways to, to produce whatever you want to have show up on, on the, the clock. It's, some people, they're not always clocks. There are other things as well, but we are obviously getting clocks. Um, so that's a very brief description of what a Nixie tube is and how it's used here. You could actually see some that they have multiple tubes, they do different kinds of things, boards that are full of them. Um, they're not made anymore. Well, actually, I guess there was one, wasn't there one company that was trying to, trying to revive it, but they were, they were made in the 50s and 60s. Uh, you think of this as, you know, the, the first effort at digital, you know, a, a digital display, but prior to when we actually had what we have as digital displays today. So we decided to take the whole Nixie clock idea one step further and create something very special. So what you are looking at here today, boys and girls, is the first Pramsius Nixie clock. We had this built exclusive for the Pramsius brand. Pramsius, if you're not familiar, that's our uh, own watch brand, Pramsius, means the Baltic ruler of time, and that is the name of our watch brand. We started with the Trans-Siberian model, which uh, successfully launched this pat earlier this year. Um, uh, was that? Actually, I guess that was last year. Anyway, uh, time starts to blend together. Uh, and then this year with the Berlin Wall watch, and then next is going to be the Iron Wolf, and so forth and so on. In the meantime, we had this, we commissioned this special clock to be built for the Pramsius watch company. Now, uh, what is different about this than the, than the ones you saw before and several of you picked up and you're already enjoying? First of all, you will not find this particular execution uh, anywhere else. We built this specifically for Pramsius, had it hand built in the Ukraine. This is a special edition because I know how you guys love the Sturmansky 24-hour watches. We can't keep them in stock. People really like the fact that Stramansky builds a true military timepiece with a true automatic mechanical 24-hour movement so that the, the hand actually goes around the dial once every 24 hours as opposed to twice, like 12-hour timekeeping. Well, this is the digital equivalent of that. We wanted to build a true military uh, Nixie clock. So this is a special one-time deal we're doing. Only 50 pieces are going to ever be made for the world of this model. We're calling it the Captain's Clock. It's in honor of the Ukrainian Navy, and actually the insignia of the Ukrainian Navy is uh, laser etched onto the clock here in the front, uh, the name Pramsius, and we're only building 50. These are going to be individually numbered, limited edition clocks. So those several things make this one very different than the previous ones we produced um, in the fact that we haven't done a limited edition before. I say before, you know, this is only our second run of Nixie clocks, but hey, we decided if we're going to go, we're going to go all in. So we went straight to a numbered limited edition. We're creating a 
uh, special edition that is not going to be repeated with the 24-hour uh, uh, set of, uh, comp it's not really a complication, I guess, like you would think of in a watch movement, but it's, it's the way the board is configured to be a true 24-hour military timepiece. The other uh, specialty feature of this one is it has a reminder chime. We're not calling it an alarm because it's not quite loud enough to wake you up, especially if you're like me and you snore real heavily. I would snore right through this. Um, however, it's a great little reminder if you just want to have something on your desk to remind you um, when it's time, I don't know, like me to take your, you know, uh, flow max, something along those lines. Anyway, um, so uh, that is the, the, the specialties. I'm going to quickly run through the uh, how you set this one and how it, uh, now you, if you watch the other video about the other Nixie Clocks that we did, this one is very different. You're not going to be able to use the information in the other Nixie Clock video we did in order to uh, set this one up and do the settings and set it properly because again we had this one built specifically so that we could have a 24-hour military clock um, and the we only have the first 20 in stock meaning we have one through 20 right now um, well that's as of me saying this video by the you know they could be gone even before heck, before we get this video up anywhere um, but if you want one from the first run, you need to get it right away, okay? Because uh, we it would be a while before we could get more in. And um, again, the maximum we're going to build of this one is 50. So there are three buttons on the back. Right there, three buttons. Oh, it's really cool too because yeah, just, I knock things over. It's, you know, that's okay. We have a very sophisticated set here. Um, one of the things that's really cool about this one too is the the bottom is actually this clear red, um, well, it's red, it's opaque red. I guess you wouldn't call it red clear, but anyway, um, work with me. Um, but you can actually see the board on the inside, which that's a really cool feature on this one. And as I mentioned, this one is etched with the Pramzius brand, and it says Captain's Clock 24 Hour Special Edition. That's for those of you who can't read. Um, and then it has the, the limited edition number, handmade in Ukraine, and then as I said, the insignia for the Ukrainian Navy. There are three buttons on the back. That's how you control the clock. And if I make any mistakes, Abe will correct me. The first thing you want to do if you, to go and set the clock is you want to press the middle button. And that puts you into setting mode. And then the other two buttons are basically your up and down or back and forth or whatever terminology you want to prefer. I think in the directions we call them backwards and forwards. And that's what you use to move the tubes so that you can set the time. Now, notice, like I said, this is not going to 1 through 12, 1 through 12. It's not AM, PM. This is a 24-hour clock. So when you're at 1,600 hours here, it's actually 4 o'clock. The easy way for those of you, some people really love the military clock, and you just you, you, you uh, inherently know it, especially if you're in Europe. That's really, I'm surprised they don't all wear 24-hour clocks there, because whenever you talk about an appointment there, they say it to you in military time. Um, or GMT time or whatever way you prefer to say it. So, it, uh, oh, it does this every minute. I, I just, again, the things I love about these clocks is every minute it just decides to dance and it goes through all the numbers and does its little dance and then it resets itself and that alone just is enough for me to own one. Um, so, the the fact that it is a 24 hour, so it, right now it's saying 1658, that would be 458 p.m. So. I'm going to have to go back because it's going to reset itself. Now we're going to go and you can set the minutes up and down. All right. Then the next is to set the, what's next? This is for setting the, the reminder. So this is where you would set the hour that you want the reminder to be at. All right. So let's say we want the reminder to be at 1600 hours because at four o'clock Craig needs to take his flow max. Uh, then you press it again and it's actually, well, let's say that Craig likes to take his flow max at, six, at 1616, which would be 416 p.m., okay? Then we're going to move again. Now, here's what's really cool about it. You can set this to be whatever day of the week. We're in the day of the week now, right? Yeah. I did the minutes. So this is, you can set this to be, you can have it on every day of the week or... This, this is to set what day of the week is today. This is, this is this, this, wait a minute. This is to set which day of the week. 
right? What they use today. They use it instead of the one to send them. Oh, okay. So right now, this is why I always keep Abe in the room whenever I'm doing anything technical. This is right now, so we set what day it is right now. All right. So let's just say I, I, um, you want to set it so that, it, that you're, you're starting this when it's Monday. So Monday is going to be 2. two. All right, because it starts as, well, like the calendar, Sunday is the first day of the week, and Saturday is the last day of the week, so two would be Monday. And that tells it that you're now starting on Monday. This is where, so now do you want it to go off on Sunday? Yes, means one, zero means no. So at 16, if you put it on one, at 16, what did I say, 16, 16, at 4, 16 p.m. on Sunday, this little reminder is going to go off. You hit it again, take it to Tuesday. If you want it to be every day of the week, then you're going to make sure that the one is showing on every day of the week, and that's when the reminder is going to go off. Now I've come to, where have I come to? Right? Dimmer. What's that? Dimmer. Oh, this is the dimmer. So <laughs> it's not that big of a wide of a range when it comes to dimming, but it does actually dim it. There are 21 settings for dimming, 20 being the brightest. Yeah. Oh, I, I got out of that. I got to go back. And oh, did its little dance. Now I got to go back to dimming. Back to dimming. Oh, I just passed it. Well, that's because I'm dim. The dimmer the controller, the more times he will zip past dimming. Okay, there we go. So 20's the brightest. 19's a little bit less. 18's a little bit less. And if you can tell the difference while I'm doing this with the bright lights in this room you have better eyes than I do. But the idea is that you can dim this so that it can, you, you can dim it if you have it in your room at night. You don't want it so bright for when you're trying to sleep. So I'm going to move it back to the brightest. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom, bada, bang. And now we are... The hourly chime. The hourly chime, yes. That's if you want the thing to chime once an hour. To really confuse you, compared to the reminder that you've set, you can set the hourly chime to go off. So it'll go off at 1600, and then at 1616, and then at 1700. And I'll have taken Flomax three times and really, really not have to uh, worry about whether I'm gonna get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom. So now it's going to do its dance and it's gonna go back. So those are the features of this. Um, we listened to your feedback. People said, we wanna see something different. Uh, a lot of people said, hey, can you make this a Pramsius clock? Um, you know, we want, they wanted to see a numbered limited edition. So we threw the kitchen sink into this puppy. You've got the numbered limited edition. You have got the fact that it is an exclusive model for the Pramsey's company. This was built for us. You will not find this model anywhere else. We built this under the Pramsey's brand name. Um, we built this to be a military clock. We know how much you guys love military timekeeping. Uh, again, we can't keep the Stramansky military watches on the shelf. So we know that that's something that, that, that the guys who would be interested in this are going to like. Um, so it's a military timekeeping. It does give you the reminder, which was not an option on the other Nixie clocks. Uh, it is, I think I already said, it's a numbered limited edition. It has the insignia of the Ukrainian Navy insignia, 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 easy for me to say. And then it, it also has, uh, again, marked that it is handmade in the Ukraine. So this is the latest Nixie clock. Uh, we are working on some other options. We may be doing some that have more tubes. Uh, maybe doing a 6-2 clock. We don't know yet. That's something we're talking about as well. We're looking at other configurations for the base. Um, as a size comparison, let me grab something. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, I know. There we go. This was Abe's idea, actually. I forgot about this. So, that's a dollar bill. There's good old George. And that's, so it's not, I want to be clear, it's not a really big clock, okay? Most of the Nixie 2 clocks aren't that big because if you make the base too big, it kind of overshadows the, the tubes themselves. Um, so this gives you a feel for the size of it. Um, I really love this one. This is a hardwood base on this. Um, it's a one solid piece of beautiful wood. And again, you've got that opaque red on the bottom so that you can actually see uh, the circuit board uh, for the tubes. So... Berlin Wall Watch coming out in not too long from now. We're getting very close, September of this year. Uh, the Iron Wolf, uh, for those of you who aren't members of Vostok Europe Timepieces, you're not familiar with the Iron Wolf. By the way, I'll give you another reason to join Vostok Europe Timepieces on Facebook. This clock is being offered there first. 
the people in that group are going to be the ones who have first dibs at choosing their limited edition number. So, until next time, we're working on a number of things, by the way. I'm going to be doing a show about uh, Santo watches coming up really soon. I'm sorry I haven't done videos lately. I've been traveling so much, I feel like I could, do, I could actually just be doing a travel blog at this point as opposed to selling watches. Um, we've got a Santo show coming up. We're going to be doing another show about the Mars from Stramansky. Um, uh, I'm going to be posting fairly soon the, the, uh, uh, the video we put together in Basel about the new watches coming from Vostok Europe. Um, so definitely stay tuned to the YouTube channel. If you haven't liked and subscribed to our YouTube channel, it is r2awatches.com. We're trying to build the subscribers on there. Uh, we're going to be focusing a lot more energy on that. I learned a lot when I took my kids to VidCon uh, two or three weeks back. Um, I actually uh, went to a lot of sessions there and learned a lot about how to maximize YouTube. So anyway, I'm Craig Hester with the Pranziest Watch Company with Abe Weiss, the man, the myth, the legend, who is uh, behind the camera today, uh, and Courtney, his lovely bride. Um, and uh, until next time, hey, keep watching.